30 million dollars this apartment is it's a penthouse apartment in surfers paradise on the gold coast for 30 million dollars stunning <laughs> beautiful like oh wouldn't this be just such a great apartment to live in in new york sure oh i wouldn't i wouldn't show surfers just an fyi do you want to live in a 30 million dollar penthouse and ride the slingshot at any time well you can <laughs> this is just insane to me does it come with the shoes because i if it didn't come with the shoes i wouldn't be putting my shoes that what is that a shelf for what and who would who would live in here it has five bedrooms but seven bathrooms that's <laughs> seven bathrooms I, I stunning does it come with the furniture though for 30 million dollars you you would assume do these bougie apartments come with the furniture because then you've got to like i don't know i, I Oh, that bathtub is ridiculous. And the water pressure would be so shit that high. Wouldn't it? Like, I've stayed, I've stayed in surfers at the QT. It's nice. It's not $30 million nice. Here we go. Stunning view. Gorgeous view. It does feel like you're living in a hotel lobby, though. I don't particularly love the plant situation, the singular plant. One plant. Is that because no one ever lives there and so they don't want to put a lot of greenery? Or is that because you're so high? It's got to be so windy that high. What is this photo? What is this photo? What is this photo going to do? This isn't a $30 million photo. You see blue from the balcony. Wow. I've always wanted to see different shades of blue. It's giving day spa, hotel lobby day spa. This photo is saying, ah, but at sunset, not only will you see the blue, you'll get a hint of a smoky haze of pollution. Come on, who is selling this apartment? Clearly, <laughs> clearly those flowers have been photoshopped in. There is no way those haven't been photoshopped in. Or they've been enhanced in Lightroom. Because everything about this photo screams it's fake. The lighting doesn't look real. What is that? What is that? Brown in a kitchen. Brown. It's giving early 2000s. Maybe like, this does feel like Google. Like when you work at Google, this would be the kitchen that you'd have. And is that fake grass outside on the balcony? For $30 million, I would want a bigger sink than that. Also, dual sinks are the worst. Was anyone consulted on the design of this kitchen? Because you don't want a dual sink. No one ever wants a dual fucking sink. You want a big singular sink that you can rinse your plates off and then you put them in the dishwasher. I'm starting to realise that potentially this house doesn't come with the furniture because is that an outdoor setting in the living room? Is this the living room or is this, and the wall clock, it, it just, it just, I, I don't feel like this apartment has been styled for a $30 million apartment. It's feel, it feels like this could be in a spotlight catalogue. What's, what's that? <laughs> what is that? I'm paying 30 fucking million dollars. What is this? It's hard because you don't want your balcony to show potential. You want to have this balcony fully decorated. To pay, and I know I've said this so many times this video, 30 fucking million dollars. Show me what I am buying. This is like, this looks like an outdoor area of a gym. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I feel like there's more photos of the outside than there is of the inside. 
Oh, it is the outdoor area of the gym. Okay. Well, now I'm realising that the gymnasium is the balcony part. Why? Um, I take back my previous statement on the balcony. It looks very gym and it is a gym. Oh, this is the whiskey bar. Oh, stunning view. Gorgeous view. Terrible lighting. That, that lighting choice is revolting. And I can't help but notice that the power outlets have USB. When now we're moving to USB-C. Just a small thing, but this this feels like... This actually feels like, now that I look at it, that maybe these are photos from like 2010. And then the person that bought it originally is now selling it and using the old photos. We also saw that same floral display on the spotlight furniture earlier. So, at least there's a consistent theme of, of cheap. Absolutely stunning. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love that. Gorgeous mountains. This is the library. The library and the Nike shoe collection. With a chandelier that is just, honestly, not to my taste at all. To be fair, none of this apartment is to my taste. It doesn't mean it's not gorgeous. It's just hideous. I feel like every time I would walk into this area, it's like I'm at a hype shoe shop. I'm like, oh, how much for these ones? You know, like it feels, it feels very retail. This level feels very retail or like a really high end Chanel, you know, where they have those seats and that sort of waiting area. This is... No, I still, I just don't like the brown. I don't like the brown and the like herringbone floor combination with the white marble. It's just three design elements I don't particularly think go together. It's very clinical. It's doctor's office. I'm coming in to get um, a consultation on the fact that I've torn ligaments in my knee. What will the doctor say? That floor lamp. Oh, and those lights above the bed. They seem to be on an uncomfortable angle. And mm, it's a no. And that view is nice. I just don't think it's worth what they're asking for. Okay. Okay. The bath. Uh, for everyone's sake, I hope those light globes are really high because if you're to stand up in the bath and even slightly tap one of those lights, they are paper thin glass. It's going to shatter. It's just going to shatter. Just get rid of those lights altogether. They're not really serving a purpose, okay, because those lights, they don't illuminate the room. It might create a beautiful soft light, maybe, and the bath, good, big enough for two people, but I don't want to have a bath. I want to have a spa. So... I would get rid of that bath completely because it's, I mean, how long would it take to fill that? That is insanity to me. That is absolute in fucking sanity. I'm just going to put the bath on because I want to have a bath tomorrow night. Like the water pressure, again, the water pressure in this building, it's to be so high, it's going to be shit. I like the sink. I love sinks. Oh, Aesop soaps. Good. And I don't mind those like planet lights. Uh, the toilet looks like an expensive like bidet-esque toilet. Um, not a fan of the shower screen with the handle. Personally, I would have gotten rid of the door completely and just had it like a, an open shower. Um, but I don't mind this bathroom. I like the dark marble. I don't like... There's too much marble. There's too much like... Too much. <gasps> okay, now I'm not hating this. I love the couch. I wish that TV was a fireplace though, because that would be nice. I don't think you can have fireplaces in apartments. Just a fake one. Um, and then the TV came down and disappeared. It's like, who watches TV? Really, honestly, who, who? I don't think I've ever turned on the television. I watch everything on my computer. 